All right. Taking it back a little bit to some great actors and some horrible fucking writing. Obviously based off of some kind of graphic novel or comic book. We're going to be talking about 2019's Polar on Netflix. So let's get to it. Oh, and this one does not deserve a blunt, so I rolled a joint. Let's start off by saying, you know that they wanted this to be the next John Wick. Because a hitman who has to kill all the other hitmen coming at him, it's, it's the same story. Um, but Mads Mikkelsen, uh, great actor. I love him. I love him in Hannibal. He, uh, he tears up the screen. His dramatic flex is phenomenal. Like he can, he can show you how he's feeling and, but just not even saying anything. He's just looking at you and you can, he can express his whole range of emotions just through facial, you know, expression. Um, Moving on, Richard Dreyfus, old school, but he's still dope as fuck, right? What he's doing in this movie with a uh, two minute scene with a couple lines is ridiculous. And then he he just touches dude's hand with like a cloth, and 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 dude passes out. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, who else did we see up in here? Um, Vanessa Hudgens, I think that's her name. She a Disney star, right? I don't know for sure, but I think that's her name, Vanessa Hudgens. <laughs> and, uh, her character is just awful. <laughs> awful. But, as I was saying, this movie was trying too hard to be something that it ain't. Um, they were definitely trying to be the next John Wick. And with the way the movie ended, I'm sure they thought they were going to get a sequel greenlit. I would advise against that. Now, I haven't read the graphic novel that this is based upon. It's very obvious that it is based upon a graphic novel or a comic book. Visually um, captivating. I'm not going to lie. The the colors, the vibrancy of the colors, the, the blood. You got to love the blood. It's, you know, extra gory and shit. Extra red, extra thick. Yeah, they're really doing some... Uh, some things in this movie, but, um, but that's just visual. It's all visual. I mean, if, you, if you're looking for a movie, an action movie with some, some cool kills, something visually appealing to your eye, by all means, check out Polar on Netflix. It'll give you your fix. But as far as fucking a movie with a serious plot and good writing, this is not for you. Uh, these hitmen, they work for a company. They pay into retirement. You have to retire at a specific age. The company matches your retirement fund. All right. The plot of this movie is that the guy doesn't want to pay the funds, so he's going to kill his retired hitmen. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Fucking awful. Let me talk to you about these bad guys. Oh, my God. These are the worst. First of all, this, like, main hit team of youngins. One of them, she's just a slut. She's just there to suck dick. Oh, by the way, Johnny Knoxville in the beginning, love it. That was great. That that showed me what this movie was all about. Anyways, one of these girls is just a slut. Like, that is her main job is to fuck dudes, start blowing them, and then they get shot in the back by some dude far off. And then there's some Asian chick with some crazy ass makeup going on. And the main bad dude, Mr. Bloot. Mr. Bloot. First of all, he's got like whole half of his face is like all fucked up with like rosacea or something. I don't know. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But anyways, he's fat, he's blonde, and he's pale as fuck. And he's always walking around in these like red or yellow suits. And he just he looks like a motherfucking clown. But it fits in with the movie. 
Hitman, clowns, torture, blood, whatever. It's all good. <laughs> um, okay, you know, so Blood Review, it's not a good movie. It's just not. It's not a good movie. But entertaining, I say kind of. If you already watched all the other shit on Netflix and you need to find something else to watch, sure, check it out. But uh, if you're looking for a movie with a little substance, something to make you think, or something a little bit more realistic, do not watch this. Do not. But like I said, Mads Mickelson, you the shit. Always gonna love you at Hannibal. Um, but yeah, that's it. And uh, we got a new rating scale here at Blunt Review. We will rate it on the Blunt. Something like, uh, you know, uh, Training Day or Good Album like Pink Floyd The Wall. I will give that a full Blunt. A full Blunt of Fire. Full Blunt of Fire. If it sucks ass, then you getting a roach. You getting a roach of some fucking Reggie Reg. This movie, I'll give it a quarter of a blunt of some fire. Visually appealing, an action, some gruesome torture, quarter of a blunt of some gas. That's a review from me. Hawaiian Steve for Blunt Review. You got anything you want me to review? Again, just drop it in the box, in the comments. And, uh, you know, if I want to do it, I'll do it. If I don't, I don't. Check me out.